My name is David Gentry, President of Good Things Small Packages. I am interviewing Marlon Barbour, author of Be More. In this part four of our interview, the last part, Marlon says he came to understand how his experiences of neglect, abuse, pain, loneliness, and low self-esteem could be used to help people. How he came to grasp and realize his destiny. I, because of having those experiences where, in, where, in which people took me in, in which working in a bar restaurant, I was able to meet another good friend uh, named Doug, who invited me to come to his work environment, in which I was able to work with a group of young men, um, which allowed me to see that um, I had a gift and a passion for speaking into the lives of, of those that are, who have been brought up in misfortunate, you know, you know, unfortunate and, 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 and very bad situations. Mm -hmm. Whether it be drugs, whether it be gun violence, whether it be institutionalization or incarceration, or abandonment, abuse or neglect. Mm -hmm. I, I was able to realize by meeting him and him taking me to his work environment, I realized at that point in time, and, a, and a, along with having the friends like the Ways and the Botanists, mm -hmm. as well as my other friends that I mentioned, Mark and Jeff and, and Jelani and, 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 and Shane and, and, and others that, uh, that I, was, I, was, I was meant to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that I had a gift of speaking mm -hmm. and I had a gift of, uh, and I had the I had the uh, I had the principle and and the um, the gift of, of empathy mm -hmm. to 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 you know help people. I was given that gift to to, to use to help people, mm -hmm. as well as the gift to to, to create a right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In which uh, this actually is my second book. Um, I, did, I did another book with um, an institute called the Freedom Writers Institute out in Long Beach, California, that was um, created by a wonderful woman named Erin Gruwell, who Hilary Swank, the movie star, played in the movie Freedom Writers. Mm -hmm. um, in which a book, Freedom Writers Diary, which was a New York Times number one bestseller, mm -hmm. was written. Um, to help um, expose the life of challenged um, students that were deemed unteachable, mm -hmm. students that were in gangs, students that grew up um, living with their aunts or living in gang-infested, drug-infested, murder-infested environments, um, youth who grew up challenged academically, growing up in foster care, growing up abused and neglected, just like myself. I was able to be a part of this revolution and create another book which was um, a spinoff of the Freedom Writer's Diary, that book, which a lot of people can go and purchase. is called Teaching Hope, hmm. forwarded by uh, the wonderful Ann Quinlan. Uh, so, you know, this book goes Fantastic. a little bit deeper. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell us yeah. then about this, about this book? What's one major point? Is it possible to do that, to mm -hmm. sum up the book in that yes. way? Well, the one major point that I want to make to sum up the book as a whole is despite your dire, most deprivated, and ill-willed ironies and tragedies in your life, that there really is no ceiling, that the sky is the limit. 